Hey guys, it's Adrian from adriancgmask.com and in this tutorial I will show you how to import your textures from Substance Painter to the Keyshot 9. Now we are inside of Substance Painter, we go to the file, export textures and we select our texture set here. We go to the output template, we change your PBR metallic roughness to Keyshot 9. Now we use uh, metallic roughness shader instead of 3 ds Max. so we need base color metallic and roughness. I don't have a specular channel here so we deselect it specular and deselect these maps as well. We don't need a height map. This is a uh, deselected and we have base color metallic roughness and normal opacity and emissive. These green dots is emissive. Alright, let's hit export. After we're done with our export, uh, uh, Substance Painter will create a folder for us. We go to the key shots. We import a model here. All right, everything at the default setting import, and now we have our model. Go to Tools, Material Importer, select Substance Painter. Let's do this again. Tools, Material Importer, Substance Painter set. Select that, and we select the folder the Substance Painter created for us. Do go inside the folder and select. Uh, this one .ts we don't want that we go back and select uh, the folder that ends with .sp select folder and drag material into the scene like that drag both materials to the model now we have our PBR metallic roughness material to our model beautiful but we don't have emissive in order to get emissive back with I double click on the model here it will open up our material go to label hit plus add material and change the label type to emissive and we select double click on the color and select our emissive map do the same thing on the opacity select emissive go back to the color and change the mapping type to UV now we get our emissive back nice but let's increase its intensity go to label properties and increase the intensity here like put it like 10 value here nice now we have our emissive back beautiful do the same thing here for other material label add material change it to emissive here and select the uh, go to the other uh, material texture set here so like this emissive change the mapping tab to UV select opacity select emissive go to label property put like 8 now we have our emissive on both material alright guys I hope you like this video be sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button and see you guys to the next video take care